Uh, the thing is, you know, this, the crises come and go, and you blame this person or that group of people, but the ultimate crisis is never changes. It's always the same, you know? And that's that we're all gonna die. <laughs> we're all gonna die, all of us. Yeah, I'm sorry, that's a spoiler, but we are. We're all gonna die. <laughs> And people hate it when you say it out loud. Most of the time they hate it. Especially if you're having sex. <laughs> if you're afflicted with that condition that makes you go, we're all gonna die every time you come, it's very hard to get the mood back. <laughs> but we are, and we're all, you know, there's no point blaming everybody else because we're all ultimately alone as well. Here we are, hot fleas in the gulping dark. <laughs> we are alone. Because people don't really have religion anymore, you know? You don't really have religion in this country anyway. I mean, you know, the, the Christian religion doesn't really exist in a big way here. You never really had it, to be honest. We had it in Ireland, that was religion. What you had was a dressing up box with some cardigans with holes in the elbows. Everybody would meet up and have some ginger nuts and sing a few tunes and go home. We had religion, the thing that makes you feel bad from the moment you're awake. With God squatting on the end of your bed with his fist pressed between your eyes going, wake up, shitbag, that's religion. Now, that was a very confusing time for a lot of people. I grew up in the 70s in Ireland. It was intense, the religiosity of the whole country, you know, and it was confusing if you were young. I remember saying to my granny, Granny, how many priests do you have to blow to get into heaven? And of course, <laughs> she was an older person. She didn't want to talk about these things. She would go, oh, stop it now, eat your tea. But I was persistent. Come on, Granny, how many? And she'd go, oh. I hate putting a number on these things. About 40. Now, come on, eat. <laughs> but that's not really around so much anymore. Religion. People are very pleased that religion doesn't exist for them. And secular people are delighted. They're thrilled with themselves. Their material view of everything. Congratulating themselves in the queue outside the apple shop, which lights up the street the way churches used to. Filing in there, feeling ashamed, shuffling in because they have the old phone. They go in there to be told how they're going to be liberated by the high priests who are all dressed in black with their piercings and ponytails who explain how the new pocket altar will release them from their earthly burdens. <laughs> now with Fox Pinker in Humptown, you can upwind monkey fuck on Trickleback. Oh, great! <laughs> I didn't know what I was doing there for a while. You've completely set me free. Thank you so much. That's the new religion. My son comes in, he's completely excited. You know, he's 12 and everything. That whole generation is excited about all this technology, but he's kind of ambiguous about it as well. He knows it's, it's not real fun a lot of the time, but he goes, oh, look, you've got to see this game or this app. It's really interesting. I grab it off him. I say, get out of here. Go and play. Go and fall out of a tree. Have a fight. Don't phone me until you've been arrested, obviously on a landline from some station. Um, <laughs> come on, this is just going to waste your time. Three hours later, it's me stood there going, ha 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 ha, on candy flaps or whatever the thing is. <laughs> I looked up recently, it was one in the morning. I thought, what am I doing with my life? Species are being wiped out. Glaciers are melting. Somewhere, somebody's eating a Swiss roll and I'm doing this. What the fuck am I doing? <laughs> you know, life is so brief. Here we are, there are four ages of human being. Child, failure, old, and dead. That's it. <laughs> That's all you have. You have, to, you have to be here and enjoy it. So I said, like, what am I doing? And then I realized I had to get to level 19 or it would all be meaningless. <laughs> you know, you watch these things for years. So that's what I was doing when I wasn't smoking. I was watching television. I did some of these drawings as well. I just, because you can't, you have to do something with your hands, you know, and you can't masturbate all day long. I mean, that's, <laughs> you know, it's, not, it's easier if you're a woman or something, you just hook yourself up to a clock radio or something and <laughs> wait till it goes ding and you're done. If you're a guy, it's complicated. You have to get tarpaulin and ropes and secure the perimeter. I don't want to get involved in all that shit. So, <laughs> the, I still, but mainly what I was doing was I started, I was watching a lot of television, a lot of television. And I realized, you know, that you watch, the, you sort of absorb voices from around the world anyway. You know, that's why the people who are trying to keep people out of countries are really not going to uh, succeed long term. Because not only is everybody everywhere, you're globalized. They're in your head, all these voices, little cartoon representations of all the cultures in the world. I realized this because I did one of these drawings one day and I thought I was quite pleased with one of them. And I found out I have an African-American man inside me. I didn't know this, but I do. Because I did one of the drawings, and before I knew this or thought it, I heard myself say, that pretty. Now, I didn't know that was going to happen. <laughs> but the point is, you're in the, all the people are in there. You have a crew in there. 
When I was eating in the house, I was eating all the time, all the time. I and mean, I knew this, it was sort of building up. I began eating on a sort of pretty much semi-professional basis. I would wake up, it was, like, it was like I was being sponsored by rival teams of scientists trying to see was it possible to eat with your left and right hands all day and night. And it is, it's a question of focus, you have to commit. I was walking around putting things in my mouth because it's comforting. I mean, babies know this. They come out, they look around, they see it's a stressful world, they go, ah, yeah, yeah, and they go to the breast and they stay there. They don't take calls or meetings or anything. They just go, I don't want to hear about it. Nom, 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 nom. This is all I don't like. Nom, 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 nom. I understand this, the rest of it, I'm not so sure. We should have a giant tit on the wall of every office in the country. <laughs> if you get stressed out, you can just zip your desk over there, your whole chair and desk, and go, I hate Peter. Nom, 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 nom. <laughs> The fucking printer's out of ink again, for fuck's sake, nom, nom, nom. <laughs> it calms you down. Putting things in your mouth calms you down. Most of the great times in your life were about putting things in your mouth. <laughs> A lot of the time, you know, it goes through all your life, not just food, but drinks and alcoholic drinks and cigarettes and body parts of people you admire, sometimes all at the same time. <laughs> Some mashed potato, a vodka martini, and hey, you busy? You know. <laughs> it's calming. And of course, I started getting fat. And that's what happens. You know, I started creeping up on myself from behind and around. <laughs> getting cuddly in all the wrong places. Nobody wants cuddly eyes. Nobody. <laughs> and I was deluding myself as well, because I was telling myself it's culture. It's just part of culture, you know? You can pretend it's cultural by having lots of cheese and wine and asking where everything is from. <laughs> Great big pile of stinking cheese there. Oh, and where is the cheese from? <laughs> Who cares where it's from? It's here now. People are fleeing the building. <laughs> Windows are melting. Eat the shit before it kills us all, will you? <laughs> no, I have to know where it's from. Oh, the Catalan cave cows. Oh, I love them. They're so musical. Thank you so much. <laughs> eating all the time, walking around eating. I had a drone of self-disgust watching me at all times <laughs> as I was annihilating any possible moments of thought by eating all the time. Look at him, look at him. He's buttering something as he's still chewing the other thing. <laughs> How disgusting can I get? I'm preparing for the next oral event, even though I'm still in one. Oh God, I'm disgusting. Look at me, I make sex noises from the strain of buttering the toast. I am vile. Quick, your wife is coming, hide, take the hummus. And the... <laughs> so disgusting to yourself, it's terrible. This is how religion must have started. In early cave time, somebody had a tiramisu all to themselves. They finished it and they hung around going, oh God, it's so disgusting. And somebody came around the corner and said, God thinks so too. Oh, really? Can I meet him? No, I'll tell you what he thinks. Just give me money. That's how it began. <laughs> so, all the time, all the time, all the time. And, uh, you know, because the mouth is just, it's good to put things in there. You know, the ear, you can kill half an hour putting things in your ear. Tops, really. If you use every available orifice and you're with a friend, maybe two hours. Tops. <laughs> But once one of you has the dodecahedron up there and the other one has the triangle, it's time to hit town and get lunch, you know, so. <laughs> but I was deluded. I was deluded by my own snobbery because I kept telling myself, well, I'm getting, I'm getting a bit fat. I am, that's the way it is. But I'm still, I'm interesting fat. I'm European fat. This is interesting existential detective delicatessen fat. <laughs> Somebody wandering around moodily chewing on a piece of prosciutto as they wander down to the docks to see if the donut boats are in. <laughs> it's not like I'm American fat. I'm not one of those guys, one of those huge people. They wouldn't even know if they had a monkey hanging from their cock. <laughs> Too busy blodging around going, is there any more? <laughs> any more cheese? I just want to eat it until I can feel my heart beating in my face. And... <laughs> But you know, it just comes. It just comes to you anyway. You suddenly get seriously uncool. That's how age functions. Everything is sort of the same. Everything is the same for ages, you know? It's like you're there and you're talking to your friend and you're going, yeah, yeah, anyway, we did this and we did that. And you know, Madonna is there reassuringly in the background going, like a virgin. And then, so we do this and you turn around and suddenly it's Nicki Minaj going, ha, 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 ha. 
It's a totally different kind of poetry, and you just, the world has changed around you. And you are older. Older, because the middle-aged bus arrives. Nobody knows it, nobody wants to get on. It just comes for you. It screeches to a halt right beside you. It's time to get on. You don't want to, everybody gets on resisting, going, not me, I'm too young. I don't want to get interested in architecture. Please, not yet. <laughs> oh, look, an escutcheon. Ah, it's happening, help me, somebody. <laughs> And then you're taken away to become a different person. And it's alienating and frightening because you start liking things you don't like. <laughs> Quiet music. Mmm. <laughs> put that, put that boobly boo shit on again. I really like that. <laughs> you never liked it before. Now you're going da 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 ba 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 da 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 Serial killer music. That's what's happening in a serial killer's head when they're sawing somebody else's off. Ba da 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 Ripping the spine out, playing Jenga with the vertebrae. Ba da 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 Vaginating the bladder and making a hat. Let's not get into details. The... <laughs> the things appeal to you that used to disgust you. Why else do people vote Conservative? <laughs> that must be what happens. It must be what happens to people. 